Um, so for those of you who, you, uh, if you are still working on self-grading, great. It's due on Thursday. Please plan to ha have it turned in by Thursday. If you thought you had it ready, let me just point out some common mistake I'm seeing. So I have seen three self-graded exams so far. Out of those uh, two, people had some things in there that really avoidable mistake. Uh, and this is what I mean. Let me use the example of the anchor paper that's posted to point out what kind of mistake people are making. So the anchor paper, you know, it's not exactly what an exam would look like because it's got a bunch of uh, marks. But, you know, all these are supposed to be three out of five. So let me, I don't know. Um, oh, this is not a good example. <laughs> um, actually, let me do that. Um, so, okay. So when you look at this part A, so you know it's a three of five, three out of five answer because the person doing this made a bunch of mistakes, and as you're grading it, if all you are doing is simply marking that it's a three out of five, and then moving on, and you turn that in, you are going to get one out of three in meta grading, because I will agree with your grading. But then I will say, uh, I don't know if you still understood the question. Because all I know is that you knew you got it wrong. I don't know if you got the exact same question again. I don't know if you can you know, even reproduce the correct answer. So in order to, to show your understanding, essentially you need to make these grading marks. So here, um, you see that um, you know, in the grading marks, I see that, OK, this is correct. Um, and here I'm marking that it's wrong value plugged in, and here I'm noting that, well, from this, you should have realized that, um, um, uh, you should have realized that this is wrong without doing detailed calculation. So, um, so the notes that I'm leaving here in this example anchor paper is probably more notes than you might leave for yourself, but it does come down to you have to actually leave uh, grading correcting marks. Yeah, as if you are grading it. That's why I'm asking you to use a different colored pen, something that's a distinctive. Because otherwise your grading marks could get confused with the actual um, exam result. So let me give you an example of where you do get one out of three. I just saw it here. Because um, I guess, anyways, in part D here, um, oh wait, I guess this is actually red, right? All right. So. Um, yeah, um, so never mind. It's not. I don't think I grade any of them in the way I was seeing some of you do. Uh, yeah, so even here there's a note. Um, so it does come down to you have to, yeah, same. Yeah, I don't think I ever grade that way. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, imagine it this way. So if, uh, you know, I see answer like this. By the way, a lot of people were actually leaving this blank, which is understandable. It's new. You didn't want to waste the time. It's actually a good test taking strategy if you feel like you're completely lost to um, skip it initially, but do leave some mark in the end. And let's say you skipped it entirely. If you simply give yourself zero out of five, when I meta grade, I'm going to give you, well, one out of three because you have correct score. And I still don't know if you still understood it or not. So uh, with a blank answer, it's going to be a bit more challenging. So, you know. Don't just copy from the sample answer, because I will see it. Um, but the way it should be done is, you know, you read the sample answer, make sure you understood it, walk away, even come back in an hour, and write down the correcting remarks without the sample answer in front of you. That's one way to ensure that you are not, uh, you don't produce something that looks like you are trying to cheat, <laughs> or where it will get marked down in meta grading. Good. So, you know, if uh, with all this, if you feel like you've done it correctly, then feel free to turn it in at the end of the class, or if you want to stay a little bit after class, I'm happy to look over it with you. I just want to make sure that what you're turning in now is what you're okay with, with as the final self-grading. 